Why pain pills are not your best friend. Pain pills are often prescribed for neck and back pain, and many people get into trouble when they use these medications for more than a few weeks. In the last 20 years in the United States, the number of prescriptions written for pain pills has soared. So has the number of people addicted to these drugs, and so has the number of deaths from overdoses. At the moment, about 25,000 people die each year in the United States from drug overdoses. More than 50% of these deaths are due to prescription drugs. In fact, prescription drug overdose is now the leading cause of death for men between the ages of 18 and 40, causing more deaths than traffic accidents and gunshot wounds combined. Many patients who find themselves addicted to prescription drugs report that they do not remember their doctor talking to them about the dangers of these drugs or the possibility of addiction. This short video should help you understand these dangers. The reasons for widespread prescription drug use and abuse in the United States are complicated. Pharmaceutical companies who make the drugs spend millions on marketing them to doctors, patients, and hospitals as safe, necessary, and improving people's quality of life. Many patients have gotten used to expecting a quick fix for their pain. Because pain pills work great in the beginning, patients are reluctant to cut down or try safer alternatives such as physical therapy, acupuncture, or anti-inflammatory medications. The common prescription pain pills such as Norco, Percocet, which in the generic form is called oxycodone, Vicodin, which is also called hydrocodone, and Oxycontin are all narcotics. This means that these drugs are in the same family as heroin and morphine. Everyone recognizes heroin and morphine as dangerous street drugs that you should not experiment with. However, many patients do not realize that the pain pills prescribed by their doctors have the same potential for causing addiction as street drugs. Just because the drug is packaged and sold in a pharmacy does not make it any less dangerous. Narcotics work by influencing a part of our brain called the limbic system. The limbic system regulates our mood. Positive emotions, such as feeling safe, secure, relaxed, and happy, are caused by the release of chemical messengers inside the limbic system. Negative emotions, such as fear, anxiety, and pain, are often caused by a drop in the amount of these positive neurotransmitters moving around inside the brain. When you take a pain pill, the drug moves around your bloodstream, makes its way to the brain, and blocks the feeling of pain. It also produces a state of feeling happy, safe, and secure by causing the release of positive neurotransmitters. This is fantastic if you were in pain a few minutes earlier, but within a few hours, the problems start. As soon as the drug stops working, the limbic system notices that there are less positive neurotransmitters around, and the feelings of fear, pain, and anxiety start to creep in. No one likes these feelings, so your brain quickly learns to associate pain pills with positive emotions, and the lack of pain pills with negative emotions. Unfortunately, this cycle repeats itself very quickly, and within a few days, it takes more and more pain pills to get relief. This is called tolerance. Also, the negative emotions that occur when there are no pain pill molecules in your brain get worse, and this is called dependence. If you stop taking the drugs abruptly at this point, you can feel physically sick, nauseated, vomiting, and in terrible pain. This is called withdrawal. This cycle will put you in a bind. You started taking pain pills because you were in pain, but after a short period of time, you are in even more pain if you stop taking the pain pills. It gets easier and easier to just keep refilling your prescription, and after a couple of weeks or a month, you now have a drug habit. This is what causes addiction. This is great news if you are in the business of selling prescription pain pills, but this is terrible news if you are the patient. How do you get out of this cycle? The first step is to recognize the problem. If you have been taking narcotics for more than a couple of weeks, you are most likely dependent, tolerant, and going to have withdrawals if you stop. Start 
by tracking the amount of pain pills that you are actually taking. Using a medication logbook can help you develop an accurate picture of how many pills you are taking every day, and it is something that you can share with your doctor. Bring your logbook to your doctor and ask them to help you stop taking these medicines. There are many other options for pain relief that have much less chance of leading to dependence and addiction, and if you are interested in other options, you will certainly find that there are many doctors who are willing to help you. Educate yourself first. The dangers of prescription drugs are real. And while there are many doctors who can help you kick the habit, the process starts with you.